plan for peace is more war. The U.S. hopes 100,000 troops in Afghanistan over the next 18 months will force al-Qaeda and the Taliban to capitulate. And the U.S. is asking for more help from Germany and other allies. Because this is an international effort, I've asked that our commitment be joined by contributions from our allies. Some have already provided additional troops, and we're confident that there will be further contributions in the days and weeks ahead. Kunduz province in northern Afghanistan. This is where German soldiers are stationed in the NATO-led mission. If Berlin decides to support Obama's new initiative, Germany would have to contribute some 2,000 additional troops to support the mission there. The goal is twofold. First, large areas of Afghanistan are still not under control and must be defended against the Taliban. And second, the Afghan forces need to be trained as quickly as possible so that their security forces can gradually assume responsibility for their country's security after 2011. Under the current mandate, Germany is contributing up to 4,500 troops to the effort. At talks with Pakistan's prime minister in Berlin, German Chancellor Angela Merkel said she's waiting for a conference on Afghanistan before making any decisions. After the conference, which will take place January 28th in London, Germany will make a decision on whether and what further steps will take. This means that we're taking the U.S. request into account, but we will not make a decision right away. We will wait until after the Afghanistan conference. But time is of the essence in Afghanistan where a recent German study has confirmed dramatic setbacks in the reconstruction effort. Berlin acknowledges that the recent deterioration places its stabilization mission in the country at risk. There have been indications in recent years that are not suggestive of stabilization. Quite the opposite, the situation has partly deteriorated. The U.S. has unveiled what it hopes will be a final surge in Afghanistan. At the same time, the Americans have also begun talking about an exit plan. Obama hopes to begin withdrawing from the country in 2011. A U.S. withdrawal would also affect the German deployment. If the American deployment does end in January of 2013, the end of his first term in office, that will also affect Germany because we certainly won't be militarily engaged on our own. The defense ministry says it's prepared to consider bolstering Germany's commitment. But the Afghan deployment is controversial here, particularly in the wake of a September airstrike ordered by the German military on two tanker trucks in Kunduz province in which dozens of civilians were reported killed. Last week, Franz Josef Jung, who was serving as defense minister at the time, quit his new cabinet post. Berlin's deliberations are also shaped by conflicting military advice. The withdrawal date. Well, all I can say about that is that the Afghans have time. And NATO and the Europeans, they have watches. And they've now set their watches. And the Taliban aren't stupid. They can now say, well, we'll just wait out the 18 months. But how long should Germany remain in Afghanistan? And how many soldiers should be deployed? The answers depend on the purpose of Germany's military mission. But is the goal stabilization and security? Or is it civil reconstruction? Or is it victory over al-Qaeda? Some experts are now saying Berlin should pursue a more limited set of goals. If we manage to install and maintain a government there that can ensure security in Afghanistan and that will observe minimal standards of human rights and that will make progress towards an at least somewhat functional democracy five years from now, then the West should be satisfied with that. Defense Minister zu Gutenberg has begun to put pressure on Afghan President Hamid Karzai. Berlin wants Karzai to step up his efforts to root out crime and corruption, also within government ranks. 
and the Afghan security forces should take greater responsibility for security there. The international forces in Afghanistan hope that committing more troops and more money will help achieve these goals. The new international strategy is to commit more troops and resources in hopes of helping the Afghans to help themselves. But Berlin has also begun talking about an exit plan.